video is a haul. This is stuff that I bought last month, um, like for the duration of last month, really. It's all kind of budget beauty stuff and I was collecting it in a box. And this month I'm on a no buy, so it's kind of like I've given myself a gift, my future self, my current self from the past, a gift of things because I told myself I'm not allowed to buy anything this month. I haven't even looked in this box, so what are the chances I've bought things more than once? without realising. Okay, I'm going to start with something I've thrown in here but I've actually used. This is the Garnier Moisture Bomb Tissue Mask and it's the dry and sensitive, the pink one. Love this so much. I actually um, just showed one of these in my favourites video that you will have seen earlier in the week. If you saw that, um, and this is actually another one, so I've, I've bought more than one. I've also just realised I have some other masks in here. Um, or I did have two masks in here, I used one of them last night. These are the Wen Glamour Mask and the, um, is it Glamour? Oh, Glamour Base Mask. And I think the other one's called the 10pm Mask. If you want to treat yourself, I think they're about £5 each um, on Amazon. And they used to be something like 7 to £10, depending on where you bought them, because they used to sell them in Selfridges. These are amazing. Some of the best face masks that you can buy. And when you consider this, I think this is 2 or £3, depending on where you get it from. These are a little bit more expensive. Um, seriously fantastic, like a completely different texture, they stick to your face um, and I see an almost instant result, with this one definitely see an instant result, with the other one I feel like when I wake up the next day my skin looks amazing. This one is a glamour base, the only mask I would use underneath makeup. It's, I just, I remember the last time I used it and I took mask off and thought, this is make like my skin looks so so good and when I put the makeup on, like I didn't have to wash it off or anything, I put the makeup on and it just looked great it was like primed really 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 good stuff and this is i'm big on masks there's gonna be a lot okay i've got two of these one of these i've used before um and i bought some more because i want to show you them in a video so let me know if you want a new mask video you know like that one that i did um because this is really cool so it's a fresh mix tissue mask i got the glow shot and the replumping shot and it's got the liquid so like the serum and what i like about this particularly is it gives you an indication of how much how much what of how much serum this has got sticky stuff on it which means something has leaked that's not excellent um how much liquid is going to go into the mask that's like quite a lot of liquid i'd say this is like half full this little sachet and then the paper mask is in here you twist it all together and you squeeze and then the two of them go together the mask gets totally absorbed, or the liquid gets totally absorbed by the paper mask. It's really, really cool. It's maybe a bit of a gimmick, but I do like the idea that you can put this in the fridge and then the water will be super, super chilled. I know you can do that with a normal one, but I think with this, it'll be even colder. And it's totally fresh when you make it, so you know how much liquid or how much fluid, serum, whatever, is going into the mask um, that you're about to put on your face. I like that, I think it's a really cool idea. So let me know if you'd like to see that in a video. Um, I got some moth butt masks. I mentioned in my favourites video that nothing is sacred in my house and Ella, the teenager, keeps stealing things. I found two empty packets of these in her bedroom. That's like the worst possible thing she could do to me. I love these so much. They are from Superdrug. They're about two pounds, one pound something. Um, and they're little socks that have got moisturising stuff inside them. So you cut off the top, you put your feet in, you strap them in, you leave them in for as long as you want and your feet just feel awesome when you get out. It's not, it's probably not anything better than if you were to put moisturiser on your feet and put your feet in some carry bags, to be completely honest. It's probably not better than that, but it feels nicer. feels more specifically pampering um, and I really like it. So there you go. I got some more new masks in here. I had to order these online because I could never find them in stock and they are these eye masks from Garnier. This is how long ago I started putting these things in this box. They were brand new when I ordered them. So I got the uh, orange juice hyaluronic acid. That's, it says it's minus four cooling, and the other one says it's minus four as well. And I would say that even like even the packet right now, they feel cold, they've been on the windowsill, they shouldn't feel cold, but they do. There's definitely something in this fluid that keeps them cold. Um, so I've got this one, and I've got the coconut water and hyaluronic acid one. I don't entirely rate these any more than the other ones. They're a little bit cheaper than the full face mask, but I don't think they're all that great. I am a huge fan of the mask bar under eye patches. I think it's £10 for five. The difference in price is minimal and they are amazing. Um, very, very thick. Just really 
substantial masks. These are just the same kind of thin material as the regular face masks. I kind of feel like they're having us on a little bit. I don't think these are worth the cash, but I bought them to review and I shall put them on the blog at some point. Um, I got a couple of these, one of them's in my bathroom already because this is my favorite cheap cleanser, the Naturally Radiant one from Superdrug. They also do one with vitamin E, it's exactly the same. It's just got a different fragrance. In my mind, that is the only difference. Um, and you basically put it on, it's a real thick, heavy lotion. Put it all over your face, massage, massage, take it off with a hot cloth. It's kind of like Lizelle, but like a fraction, fraction, fraction of the price. I think they were on sale for like £1.50 each. Can't recommend those enough. Um, I've got a couple of shampoos that I forgot that I bought. These are the OGX, which I think are quite expensive normally. I think they're normally about seven pounds. I think they were slightly cheaper. So I thought I would give them a go. They don't look expensive, do they? They look cheap. That's what bothers me about them. That's why I've never tried them before. Um, but they are quite pricey for drugstore products. So there's the coconut, oh, coconut water shampoo, which says weightless hydration. And the other one says hydrating plus tea tree mint shampoo. Um, so this one's supposed to be like nourishing and hydrating and balancing. And this one's supposed to give you kind of like silky, shiny, perfect hair. We'll see. The things that I look for in a shampoo is something that's gonna kind of not weigh it down, make it feel super, super clean. So hopefully those two things will do that. Speaking of super, super clean, Boots Tropical Dry Shampoo is terrible. I don't like any dry shampoo that's not Batiste. I don't know why I keep buying it. I got a bed head one sent to me to review the other day. Terrible, just terrible. I know with this, it says, does it say? Yes. So you have to spray it all in and then it says work, work, work with your fingertips. So that kind of gave me the indication that um, maybe I haven't been using these other ones so much, like as, as well as I should have been. So with the Batiste one, you can see that you need to work it in because it's white. Um, so you put it in and then you're trying to like work it through your hair, the powder. Whereas with these ones that feel like hairspray, when you've put them on and I'll like rub my hair a bit and I think, oh, it, just, it looks so greasy and horrible. So you don't want to rub it anymore in case that more of that is happening. Because usually with greasy hair, if you touch it more, it's, it gets worse. With this, if you do kind of really, really, as if you're washing your hair, scrub, scrub, scrub in your roots, it does work a little bit, but it's still, I just love Batiste. I love my Batiste and nothing has ever, I don't even like the Colab shampoo and I really love the scents and stuff, but I just, I like, I need to have a little bit of weight behind my dry shampoo. Uh, I bought some Cetaphil. I bought this as um, a cleanser that I can use in the morning, just get up, wash my face before I do my makeup, but I also bought it so that Ella could use it because everything that I buy, she uses. Um, I got <laughs> this, something in here is definitely leaked and I really don't know what it is. I can't tell it's very annoying um this i bought to test my theory of whether or not the foot things <laughs> were um basically the same as just putting on a lotion and your feet in bags and i kind of feel like they are i i bought this and also why else did i buy this oh because i get really bad um rashes on the backs of my legs when i shave a couple of days later i can have a rash it looks like a really bad rash but it's just a shaving rash it's just like a a regrowth brush and I get that a little bit around my knees after a few days but always on the backs of my thighs I don't know what it is um and last month it got really bad and I ended up with like pseudocreme all over my thighs trying to just like calm it down and then I bought this because it said it was guaranteed relief for eeks extremely dry and itchy skin so I was wearing it there I didn't, I didn't buy it for my feet I'm totally remembering this wrong but then I thought I would put it on my feet and put my feet in bags and I kind of did get the same result as I do with the other thing. So if you want to save some money, that's the thing. I got some like sandwich bags, pop my feet in there, done. Um, and it's really nice. It's like, you know, it's a nice thing to have. It's sticky, irritatingly. It might have been the Cetaphil. Maybe that's what it was. Um, but you know, it works. Cotton pads, always need cotton pads. Um, the Brightening Fruit Acid Cleanser. Ugh, I've got it all over my hair now, this sticky stuff, by B. Um, I haven't used this yet, but I'm thinking it could be something similar to the Soap and Glory Peaches and Clean, because that was brightening, that had fruit acids in it, and um, what I liked about that was I would put it on as a mask and let it kind of tingle on my skin, and I really liked the effect that it gave. It would give me a little bit of a red face, to be quite honest, but I felt like it was um, like renewing the surface of my skin and making me look brighter, so that is what I've bought this for. I will keep you posted. Nail polish. The nail polish that I'm wearing right now, it's this under the sea 
paint from Barry M and the color is Jellyfish. This is the color on my nails right now. I love it. I think it looks so cool. It's not very autumnal, but I'm really enjoying it. And I think it looks, it's a really cool effect for a cheap, um, regular nail polish polish. No gels, no powders or anything like that. And I think it's got that really cool kind of like chromey look. I really like that. Uh, what else do I have? I didn't think I bought this. Also, I think I have something else somewhere else. I don't know. Uh, so I used to love this. This is the collection Glam Crystals Dazzling Gel Liner in La Freak. I used to love this so much. I used to do my regular eyeliner like I've done today and then I would put it on underneath so it would be like a line of black and then a line of the green. It's so cool. And something about this color is universally flattering. It's difficult to wear blue when you are um, my coloring, but this kind of teal, a really deep jewel tone teal was really, really pretty. Just so long as I had the black as well to define, I really liked it. So I've bought it and we'll see. We'll see if I can go back into the world of sparkly colorful makeup. We'll see. Um, I bought this and another one. Where is the other one? Is it, it's here. I bought both of these. So I bought the first one and Ella stole it, obvs. I still, I just don't understand how this happened. It's got mascara on the top of the lid. How do you do that? You take it out of here. How do you then, how, do you do that? What? Children are still weird. I mean teenagers, but still weird. So I bought the original one and it's fantastic. This is the L'Oreal uh, Paradise Ecstatic Mascara. Really, really good. I'm wearing it today, it gives you real oomph. My lashes are rubbish and it's a little bit clumpy, but it just gives you that full on false lash effect. Um, anyway, so she stole it. So I bought myself another one and I thought, I'll try the um, waterproof one because the other one was not waterproof when I went to see Mamma Mia 2 all over my face, very smudgy, not great. So I thought, I'll try the waterproof one. It's just not the same at all. I'm really disappointed by it. Um, sometimes the waterproof versions of things are actually better because it kind of holds a curl better. This just, it never builds in the same way the other one does, which might appeal to you because the other one is very, very clumpy. That's kind of part of its appeal, uh, but it didn't really do it for me. So just kind of a quick comparison review for you there. Didn't love it. Um, I also bought this W7 Absolute Lashes Mascara because my plan was to do a super, super low budget. Get ready with me. I'm collecting some things. And this is one of the things that I've collected. And this is obviously supposed to be a dupe of the, um, is it called Their Real? from Benefit, it's got a, a silver, oh, I didn't show you the brush of the other one, you have to see it because it's just like a crazy, crazy brush and a brush that I normally would not have thought would give me any kind of oomph for all because I'm into the kind of spinally little, well, I'll put you in the sun, shall I? Because the sun's gone in. <laughs> um, but I, I don't know, something about it's really, really good. So I got the W71, you'll probably see that in a video soon. I got a hair oil sachet from Ultimate Blends. This is intense care for dry, dull hair. I thought I would probably pop this on my hair and then leave it overnight. Um, this is something that I purchased for that video um, to find some kind of dupes for things that I was using already. So I used the Bare Minerals. I actually kind of feel like this has gone off, this Bare Minerals mineral veil, because it's not as fine a powder as it used to be. I'm kind of disappointed. Anyway, so I used that. I also really like the Vichy Derma Blend, which this looks a lot like. And I thought I would give this a go as a finishing powder, that kind of soft, focusy finishing powder. And have I got one in here? I don't know what I've done with it. No, I don't know. Right, so I bought, oh, it's, they're both in here. Never mind, never mind. So I bought, I've been really into um, like taupey eyeshadows recently. I'm going back in the drawer, sorry. It must be super annoying noise. So I've been wearing this taupey eyeshadow this one down here from this Bobbi Brown palette. Um, the palette is this. It's the Nude on Nude Eye Palette in the Bronze Nude Edition. I really, really like this, but really the only color that I've been using is that one. I've been using these two off and on. Occasionally I, I dabble with the other, but this this has been the one that I really, really like. And I've been really into just a little bit of taupey eyeshadow, a little bit of eyeliner um, for kind of day to day and trying to get more used to wearing makeup on a regular basis because I got so out of it in the summertime um, and I, I tend to kind of rediscover stuff when it comes to autumn winter. So I thought we'd try and find um, a cheaper version of these taupey eyeshadows that I like. So I got these two from Natural Collection. This one is Copper Blush. Oh, someone is in a rush to get somewhere quickly. 
um, a couple blush I've been using as well, and then this one is Asteroid. Funnily enough, I had Asteroid in the old packaging, and I know that I picked it because, again, I was looking for that taupey colour, so hopefully that will do it for me. But I also picked up this from the, I think it's, is it called Create Your Own? CYO, I think it's Create Your Own. Um, and the colour is Intergalactic. There you go. They had something in common there. Um, I'll swatch them for you. So that one's Intergalactic. And then this one. Open! <laughs> Gonna end up snapping a nail off. That's kind of disappointing. That one's Asteroid. That one there. And then... Oh, and then that one's Copper Blush. Totally different. So I, at least I feel like I haven't bought three identical shadows. I think the Intergalactic is the winner there, isn't it? Um, but we'll see. I'll show you them in a video. And then the last thing that I bought was this Olay Regenerist Overnight Miracle Firming Mask because everybody was talking about it and I really, really like it. I ended up doing a sponsored post on this after I'd purchased it and um, I really, really like it. It smells like Petit Falou. I'm going to have to take the full thing off. This is so difficult to do with long nails. I can't do it. At night time, I have to get Lee to open it up for me so I can put it on because I can't. I just cannot take it off. You need like tweezers or something to be able to get into it. Um, but it smells like Petit Falou, like a peachy kind of yogurt. I love it, it smells delicious. So that is it, that's everything that I purchased. And now I feel like I don't have to go out and buy anything, which is good, because I'm gonna know buy. Um, but I feel like I've got a whole new wardrobe of things to try. Um, if I've mentioned anything that you wanna see a specific review of, please let me know. I am doing 30 days Oh no, 30 days, 30 lips in 30 days on my blog. So I've got a new lipstick review every single day on my blog this month. Um, but next month I'm gonna go back into regular reviews because I'm kind of, I just feel, you know, re-energized re um, in this capacity. Plus I've just been so busy with the book project and um, other stuff that I've been doing that I just haven't had the time to set on these things that I'm now really excited to do. So um, yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. and push the notification bell um, because apparently that's a thing. If you don't do that, you maybe won't even see it in a subscription feed because YouTube's terrible now. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye. Every time I'm going out, the same things keep happening.